Hi, welcome to another video in my series on matrix transformations. And in this video, what we're going to look at is enlargements. Enlargements by a scale factor k, where k is a positive number, and the center of the enlargement is at the origin. So for instance, if I took a typical shape, say a triangle here, ABC, and I was to enlarge it, sent to the origin by say scale factor one and a half, its image would be there. Or scale factor two, and its image would be here. You can even have say a scale factor of a half, which would take it to this position. So how do we compile any matrix then, which will give us an enlargement of a positive scale factor k sent to the origin. Well, if you've been watching videos in this series, you'll remember that we build this up from looking at what we call the unit base vectors, the unit base vector one zero, and that would lie along the positive x-axis, but I'm going to slightly displace it just up here. You'll see why in a moment, but if I mark that in as the unit vector one zero, so just imagine that is actually physically on the x-axis. And we also look at the other unit base vector, 0, 1. Okay, so we just mark that in there, 0, 1. And to build up the transformation matrix, what we need to do is consider where these two unit base vectors go under the given transformation. So for the first one here, 1, 0. If we enlarge this scale factor k, k is a positive value, sent to the origin, then it stays at the origin but increases in length by k units. So we get a vector that starts at the origin, it's on the x-axis, even though I've just displaced it slightly, just to show you the difference. And this vector here is k0. All right. Similarly, when we come on to the unit base vector 0, 1, if I enlarge this scale factor k, sent to the origin, then it's going to grow in length by a value of k units. So just displace that slightly just to show you, but it would be on the y-axis, and its value would be 0, k. So when it comes to the transformation matrix, when we need to compile this, all we do is we just look then at where each of these units base vectors has gone to. So 1, 0 has gone to k0. So we write that down first, k0. And then we take this unit base vector, 0, 1, which has now gone to 0, k. And that completes our transformation matrix. And we can check that this works. Let's say we take an example where k is equal to 2, where we're going to enlarge this triangle by a scale factor of 2. So when k equals 2, the transformation matrix would be 2, 0, 0, 2. And the matrix for the triangle here, ABC, is given by just considering the position vectors of A, B, and C. So that would be the vector starting from the origin. So for A, it would be 2, 1. So we just put that down as 2, 1. For B, it's going to be 2, 3. For C, it's going to be 3, 1. And if we multiply these two matrices in the usual way, and I'm assuming that you're familiar with matrix multiplication, if not, just check out the video on my website for this. But if we do this matrix multiplication, when you come to doing 2, 0 times each of the columns, you end up just doubling the top row. So that would be 4, 4, 6. And when you do 0, 2 times each of the columns, you end up doubling the bottom row here. So you get 2, 6, 2. And this is our image matrix. So therefore, that tells us that the point, for instance, A at 2, 1 has now moved to 4, 2. So if we put that point on, 4, 2 is going to be there. 
and if we look at point B at 2, 3, it's now moved to 4, 6. 4, 6 is this point here. And then finally for C, which was at 3, 1, it's now moved to 6, 2. 6, 2 is that point there. So we have then our three image points. And we can check out whether that's going to be correct because if we move that scale factor to, we double all the lengths, okay, it falls directly on those points. So I'd like to think that you would check out other shapes in other positions with different scale factor values K, okay? Check that they work and that will give you hopefully the confidence you need to be able to do this kind of topic. Now I've got other videos in this series for other transformations, rotations, reflections for instance. So if you're unsure how to compile the matrix then they're all generally much the same. To be honest you've just got to consider then these two unit based vectors 1, 0 and 0, 1 see where they go to under the given transformation. All right?